knew he had found something remarkable. In 1929, he published a paper on penicillin's antibacterial properties. But there was a problem. He couldn't isolate and produce it in large quantities. For a decade, his discovery remained a scientific curiosity, too unstable to become a medicine. It wasn't until the late 1930s that a group of scientists at Oxford, Howard Florey, Ernst Boris Chain, and Norman Heatley, picked up Fleming's forgotten work. Through years of painstaking research, they developed a way to purify and mass-produce penicillin. Their breakthrough came just in time. World War II was raging, and wounded soldiers desperately needed protection against infections. The Allied governments recognized its potential. With support from the United States, pharmaceutical companies developed large-scale production methods. By D-Day in 1944, penicillin was being manufactured in massive quantities. 